and uh, what we see is a ball of light uh, with a slight extension uh, uh, and uh, uh, it doesn't look like a typical comet where you see a beautiful tail of dust uh, stretching away from uh, the direction of the sun. It began as a whisper from the void. July 1st, 2025, astronomers detected 3I slash Atlas, the third interstellar object to enter our solar system. But this one was different. It started transmitting an intelligent signal, mathematical and precise, defying every natural explanation. The message has now been decoded, and what it reveals could shake the foundations of science and our sense of safety. Why would something from another star speak to us in prime numbers and genetic code? On July 1st, 2025, a faint anomaly swept across the automated survey feeds of the Atlas Telescope in Chile. Within hours, the International Astronomical Union catalogued a new object, C-2025N1, quickly designated 3I-Atlas. For the third time in recorded history, astronomers confirmed an interstellar visitor, an object born beyond the Sun's influence now passing through our solar system. The previous arrivals, Oumuamua in 2017 and Borisov in 2019, had each sparked global campaigns, but this detection triggered an even faster response. The European Space Agency's Mailargu ground station in Argentina pivoted its deep space arrays, relaying coordinates to Mars Express and the ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter. NASA's Mars Orbiters, along with China's Tianwen-1, joined the effort, creating a rare moment of international coordination. The object's trajectory was calculated with urgency. 3I slash Atlas would pass within 30 million kilometers of Mars on October 3rd, 2025. Its hyperbolic path arcing in from the direction of the constellation, Carina. At its closest, it would remain nearly 200 million kilometers from Earth, never approaching for direct sampling, but close enough for remote study. Initial imaging revealed a coma, a faint shroud of dust and gas, barely visible against the background stars. Spectrographs hinted at a nucleus several kilometers across, possibly older than the solar system itself. The object's velocity, over 60 kilometers per second relative to the sun, confirmed its interstellar origin. No known planetary body could account for its speed or inbound direction. As the news spread through the astronomical community, observatories raced to secure time on their instruments. The Atlas Survey's automated alert system had worked as designed, flagging a moving point of light that did not fit any catalogued orbit. Within 12 hours, teams from the European Space Agency, NASA, and China's National Space Administration were sharing data, aligning their schedules, and preparing for a narrow observation window as 3i slash Atlas approached Mars. The discovery represented not just a scientific milestone, but a logistical feat. With only months before the closest approach, astronomers faced the challenge of collecting as much data as possible on an object moving at interstellar speeds. The coordinated response, ground-based telescopes, Mars orbiters, and high-speed data relays created a global network focused on a single, fleeting visitor from another star. Within hours of the initial detection, a coordinated team of analysts began dissecting the transmission from 3I slash Atlas. The first task, strip away the Doppler drift caused by the object's rapid passage near Mars. Once corrected, the signal revealed a sequence that defied expectation. A cascade of pulses, each separated by intervals matching the first several prime numbers, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, and so on. This pattern ran for minutes, repeating with mechanical precision. Next, the team turned to frequency analysis. Fast Fourier transform spectrograms displayed harmonics that were anything but random. Peaks appeared at ratios corresponding to pi and the golden ratio. Phi, 
mathematical constants that rarely, if ever, arise from natural astrophysical processes. These harmonics persisted across independent datasets from the European Space Agency's Malargu Station, NASA's Mars Orbiters, and China's Tianwen-1, each confirming the same non-random structure. To rule out terrestrial interference or instrument error, the analysts launched a battery of Monte Carlo simulations, generating millions of synthetic noise samples under identical conditions. In all those trials, the emergence of both prime run sequences and precise pi slash phi harmonics occurred less than 0.01% of the time. The probability of such a combination arising by chance was effectively nil. Chain of custody protocols left no room for doubt. Every raw data packet was cryptographically hashed at the source and logged as it passed between observatories. Independent teams, working in isolation, replicated the findings using their own pipelines and algorithms. Each result converged. The signal was real, persistent, and structured. As the evidence mounted, the collective mood shifted from curiosity to alarm. The data could not be explained by natural sources, nor by any known human technology. The presence of prime numbers, coupled with mathematical constants embedded in the waveform, forced a single conclusion. This was a message, crafted with intent. The scientific rigor behind each step left little room for skepticism. What began as a faint anomaly now stood as a verified transmission, demanding attention at the highest levels. Encrypted data packets traveled under strict chain of custody, each transfer stamped with a unique SHA-256 hash and logged by hand in duplicate ledgers. No single institution held the master key to the signal's full structure. Even the most senior analysts worked from air-gapped terminals, their findings reviewed by a rotating oversight panel. The risk of tampering or accidental disclosure hovered over every exchange, fueling arguments between agencies about how much to reveal and when. Inside the containment lab, playback of the transmission was permitted only under medical supervision. The first controlled tests lasted less than a minute. Within seconds, EEG monitors registered sharp spikes in theta and high beta bands. Several volunteers reported nausea, a cold sweat breaking out along their arms. One subject's heart rate jumped by 20 beats per minute, prompting the team physician to halt the session and order a full cardiac workup. Later, a second group described a sense of dread as if the sound itself were pressing against their skulls. The signal's structure, mathematically precise yet deeply unsettling, defied easy explanation. Meanwhile, orbital dynamicists ran trajectory models on isolated clusters. A subtle delta V, barely above the margin of error, appeared in the velocity data. Over 48 hours, 3. I slash ATLAS's course shifted by less than a meter per second squared, an adjustment too smooth for natural outgassing, yet too deliberate to ignore. Three celestial coordinates emerged from the decoded data, one near Europa, another deep in the Oort cloud, and a third plotted in Earth's own orbital path. The implication was unmistakable. The object was not merely passing through. It was steering, and the message pointed back at us. Containment protocols hardened. Access to raw data was restricted to a handful of vetted teams. Each session logged, each result verified against the original hash. The question was no longer whether to keep the finding secret, but how to manage a discovery that threatened to upend every assumption about our place in the cosmos. Decoded symbols scattered through the final transmission bore a striking resemblance to the hydrogen atom map engraved on Voyager's golden record. Analysts noted a sequence of concentric circles bisected by a precise line with tick marks at intervals that matched the hydrogen hyperfine transition an unmistakable reference point for any civilization versed in atomic physics. Entropy calculations flagged the pattern as non-random. 
When the iconography was compared against the Voyager set, a subset of motifs showed up to 20% structural similarity. Attention shifted to the message's deepest layer, a block of digital data arranged in a matrix whose dimensions factored into prime numbers. Bioinformaticians at the Max Planck Institute in Munich ran the sequence through alignment software, searching for echoes of terrestrial genomes. The results were unsettling. Multiple segments, each between 120 and 250 base pairs, aligned with human mitochondrial DNA at identities ranging from 29 to 37 percent. Motif scans flagged structures reminiscent of zinc finger domains and tRNA loops, elements common to all known life. The E values, though not definitive, fell below the threshold for random noise. The findings triggered a swift advisory. The World Health Organization and the U.S. National Institutes of Health recommended BSL-4 digital containment, a protocol more often reserved for synthetic viral blueprints than for mere information. The Munich exobiologists' report, circulated under embargo, warned that the sequence might represent a viable genome, or a blueprint for one. The question split the panel. Some argued the similarities reflected convergent evolution or coincidence, while others cautioned that even partial homology could carry functional risk if synthesized. No consensus followed. The data sat behind locked terminals, its meaning unresolved. The final choice, whether to treat the code as a message, a warning, or a seed, remained suspended, waiting for someone to decide what would come next. On July 1, 2025, Atlas detected 3I Atlas, marking only the third confirmed interstellar object in recorded history. Within days, a structured signal was verified by multiple observatories, its patterns of prime numbers and mathematical constants statistically impossible to occur by chance. Less than a 0.01% probability, according to Monte Carlo analysis. Decoding efforts revealed coordinates near Europa, the Oort cloud, and Earth's orbit, and a sequence with partial homology to human DNA. Playback of the transmission produced measurable physiological effects, including nausea in controlled laboratory settings. Despite hundreds of hours of analysis and cryptographic verification, the full intent of the message remains classified, and not all data has been released to the public. What is known? The transmission was real, the patterns were deliberate, and the implications reach beyond any previous discovery. As of today, the origin and purpose of the 3i Atlas signal remain open questions, reminding us that in the search for life beyond Earth, every answer can lead to even deeper mysteries.